60s in a, in a small village in Kenya, Kiambu, Idongori, called Gewa, to the parents. My parents are Mr. and Mrs. Richard Kangede. As I was growing up, I believe there was a kind of a leadership thing in me because I remember when I was about nine, ten years old, I was chosen to lead mass choirs. We used to entertain the late president, uh, Jomo Kenyatta, and I used to be the leader. And because I was very short, I used to be placed up on a table to go and lead the choir. Well, it started from, from then on, and uh, my teachers could see some leadership qualities in me. As I continued, after my education, I trained as a teacher, and uh, within no time, I, I, I got the rank of a head teacher, which I did for about eight years before moving to the UK. And I was also a scout and girl guide leader, which I did with a lot of passion up to the provincial level. I was a provincial leader of the scouts and guides. So there was a lot that I was still doing in Kenya. I just didn't come to UK and then thought of jumping into leadership. How did you get involved into politics in the UK? I mean, you, what is it that encouraged you to get started? Well, polis, politics has, has not just, I just didn't start in the UK. Right from quite an early age at home, I worked very closely with the Electoral Commission. I was at one time a deputy returning officer in the 1997 general elections in Kenya. And I kind of got into politics because I found out how, how it works. And it's not very, very different from how it goes on in Kenya. When I moved to the UK, uh, through my work, in the community as a scout leader and as a teacher, I integrated with the local community and that's how I got involved and I started working uh, as a volunteer with the labor team in Margaret's office and I, I was working with the handling cases to her and I kind of slowly get into, got integrated and that's how they nominated me and they thought I could be a voice and I suited that post. <laughs> Well, I am excited, just like you say, I'm really proud of my achievement. And really, Obama was, and he is, up to now. Because if he hadn't contested, without any doubt, whether he won or whether he lost, it wouldn't cost him anything. And so he really inspired me. He was an inspiration to me. And when he went through, having come from such a low background, I believed within myself that everything is possible. And so I decided I'm gonna go for it also. He gave me a lot of hope in whatever I was doing. Well, I think we, 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 we've been, we've shied off from doing things. We look at the, the people like people from Nigeria. There are so many of them even MPs in this country. There are so many of them in the local authority. But I believe now it's our time. It's our time also to venture because it costs nothing. Just give it a go. And I would like to be, uh, I would like to encourage, especially the young people, because most of the old people feel that like it's too late or they shy off. I would like to encourage the young people to venture. Next time, we should see at least every Kenyan, every one, with a Kenyan trying to contest whether they win or not because I believe all things are possible and we've got so many Kenyans here who can do it, who can make it, who are educated here. We even have some who are born here. But in the past, we never used to, be, to believe in ourselves, but I believe now Obama was an inspiration for us and people should venture into all fields other than just looking at businesses. If you feel that you've got any leadership qualities in you, go ahead, go for it. If I have done it, I believe anybody else can also do it. And how do you think this will change your life? Well, it's a bit early to comment about that, but, I, but, but uh, because I'm still the same, I haven't changed, it's only that I've got the post now. But um, time will tell, time will tell, time will tell because... What do you think the job of the councillor will entail here in the UK? Well, it's not easy. It's not that easy because I already have been working hand in hand with the local councillor. Well, in the first place, you really have to, have to be a voice for the people. Housing, education, it's quite a lot in terms of the streets. There's a lot that uh, a councillor is supposed to do, but I believe we will manage because I've already been working the councillor. Well, it's going to come a time whereby we as black people would come to you wanting some favours from you. How are you going to handle that? Because you've been a very popular uh, person in the community. How would you balance your community work and your councillor work and making sure that you leave people in a balanced state? I have been nominated to represent everybody. And when it comes to representing them, I'm not going to have any favours at all. If a person comes, whether black, white, I will try and help them equally and not really be partial at all. 
So I will try as much as possible not to have any partiality in the jobs that I do. I will try to represent everybody. And obviously, I also need my life. And I will try and do whatever entails me as a counselor. It's not easy, but I try. I will try my best and do it. So as we come to the end of this interview, Elizabeth, I mean, you have a background, and that background in Kenya, you came from somewhere. What would you like to tell those people that have made you who you are today? Right. My first appreciation and gratitude goes to my parents, whom I love so much, that have made me who I am today. My teachers, who played a great role in modeling me and encouraging me all the way through, my colleagues who are my colleagues in, in school, in college, and generally the Kenyan community. Pray for me. This is not an easy job. I'm in a foreign land. It is very, very challenging, but I know I can make it. I know I want to be a good ambassador. I want to be a good representative. I want to bring a good name that Kenya, from Kenya, we can manage and we can do it. And I believe with you and your prayers and your support and your encouragement, I will manage. Thank you.